Welcome to Blackbridge Sound, the greasiest home recording channel on YouTube. Recently, we actually finally hit 1,000 subscribers on YouTube, which is pretty awesome. This is a project that we started a couple years ago that we do on the side just because we enjoy doing it. This is a very for fun project. And, you know, we started this project back in the day, you know, with the intention of recording our own stuff, which we will get around to do, but then we kind of decided. Let's just work on a few different projects, uh, maybe make the YouTube channel and, you know, get because you get better as you go. The more you do something, the better you get at it. So it's been really interesting to see this channel kind of get its own legs and kind of develop into its own thing. So we really appreciate everyone that has, you know, subscribed, watched our videos, shared it, enjoyed it along the way. We've met a lot of really cool friends and stuff through this and it's been a really cool experience. So to celebrate us hitting a thousand subscribers, me and J-Rock are gonna have a couple of Blackbridge Stouts. This is a very informal video. We're just gonna hang out, shoot the breeze, do a bit of an FAQ, maybe read some comments that have been on some of our videos there. And uh, yeah, we're gonna uh, have some fun and just you know shoot the breeze. So thanks everyone for uh, being a part of Blackbridge Sound over the years. And let's see some of these comments here. Let's go. Let's go. All right, so first question. I'll load it up eventually. Oh, you lost it? I lost it. I lost. <laughs> thought it was loaded up already. It was, and then it unloaded. Ah. Just on the old, we don't have any fancy like production people that are giving us these questions. We went and did some screenshots, so this is what we're looking at, if you can see that. The camera's there. So, question number one. The other ghost. When was your dad in Megadeth? I don't know. Last I checked, my dad was never in Megadeth. Was your dad in Megadeth? No, my dad was not in Megadeth. No? I think they were like referring to like the giant rack that we put on your dad's kit. Right. We should be clear, while it is your dad's kit, we did add the rack to it and he yes. never had the rack. That is true, yes. Everything was just on like greasy stands, so yes. like. Yeah, we got that rack from a good friend, Mike Farr, yeah. who uh, sold it to us there secondhand. And well, we got most of it from him. That's true, yeah, Jared did add some more things, so. I wanted it to be greasier, so. Yeah, so my dad wasn't in Megadeth. Nor was Jared's dad. Jared does have a history of not knowing his dad's employment history, but <laughs> that won't be in the video. <laughs> but <laughs> all right, I think you got that same history with your dad. There was no employment history. <laughs> Fuck. Well, not that you know of. <laughs> so yeah, so yeah, so neither of our dads were in Megadeth, to the best of our knowledge. Here, give me the next one. We'll flip it back and forth. Back and forth. So, the next question. Bear Black Hawk 9362. Yeah. He asked, is that Bono singing at the end of the video? <laughs> You're pro he's talking about uh, the old man at the end of the. Uh... Yeah, I think when he's singing Roller Coaster Ride. Yep. That was your dad? Yeah. Yeah, so that's footage of uh, back in the day. Me and Jared actually here um, in an old project we used to do back in the day. Uh, senior, my dad. You know, before he passed away, he jumped in and uh, used to drink a few beers. He used to enjoy a couple pops and uh, like to sing some random tunes, some of his own. And uh, well, that that particular day was also his birthday. That was his birthday, so, so he had a few more beers than normal. <laughs> he had yeah. a few pops and uh, wanted to sing some tunes. So yeah, that's what that footage is from. And we thought we would include it at the end of the video because uh, you know that video is all about us restoring his old Ludwig drum set and. Uh, so it's kind of cool to uh, have a little bit of tribute to him at the end, right? Yeah, and like while you weren't using his kit in that, you were using your old Pearl kit. Yeah, it's but not the was, same kit, but the, that was the room where this kit was, and his that, kit mostly was, because yeah. that was the live room in your dad's studio, studio which is yeah, a very cool place. Yeah, it was a cool little tribute at the end of the video, and uh, yeah, there's not too much footage of senior around, so it's the best I could kind of put together, right? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. So yeah, that's not Bono singing at the end of the video, that is my dad, also called Mike Cotton. We have had that question many times on that, <laughs> that yes. actual video. Though. Yeah, that's true. The tone, con tone consultant, I simply don't understand why you bothered to make the videos. Because we make lots of money doing it, and we got fabulously rich. And there's lots of drugs and alcohol. That's 100% inaccurate. You know what, I actually went to that guy's channel. Okay. So. He's called the Tone Consultant, okay. right? Every single video on his channel is just like him and his kids in a park. There's nothing to do with Tone at all. So he's a troll. The Troll Consultant, yes. right? Tone Consultant. I don't understand why I make the videos either. Okay, I just like doing it. This is my boy. You know why we did it? 
Why? We did it so people would watch them. Yeah, exactly. This guy watched, watched the video. Them. Thank you, the Tone Consultant. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Yeah. There you go. Next question there, bud. So, Lboy522 <laughs> asked, well, he didn't really ask, he said. Ludwig and Tama. <laughs> Ludwig and Tama. <laughs> I guess I pronounced Ludwig weird. I don't know. Let us know in the comments if you think our pronunciation of Ludwig is weird. I thought it was Ludwig. I guess it's supposed to be Ludwig. I don't know. You know what? That's the thing though, is they say it's supposed to be Ludwig, but if you're gonna be that precise, it should be Ludwig. I don't know. Because it's German. It's not right. really an American name, even though the guy was probably American. They can say they want it to pronounce however they want, but if you're gonna be that technical, it's Ludwig. I don't know. I'm gonna stick with Ludwig. Yeah, I just, I don't have the mental capacity to change it. After all these years of hearing my dad say, Mikey, the Ludwigs. I, that's yeah, in, that's it's, ingrained. It's ingrained, yeah. 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 So next question here. Spend Kroof said, best YouTubers ever. Horns up. Well, thank you. I know for the best, but we're definitely the greasiest. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if we're the best YouTubers ever. I def I hope not. We are the greasiest. We are YouTubers, I guess. Yes, we are. We do exist. So, YouTubers ever, horns. That could be us. Thank you, bro. Marcus Aurelius 777 says, I have that kit, or maybe I'm just a clown troll. You managed to say greasy or greasiest 13 times in this video, LOL. Oh yeah, that's good old Mark Gimmel. Mark Gremmel. Maybe we should get like a greasy counter going. And just like in the bottom. The grease count? In the bottom, there's no context. Every time you stay yeah. greasy, it goes up by one. Yeah. No, we actually know that guy. He actually used to play in a band with my dad. He is actually an internet troll. Funny enough, he actually, uh, I think he blocked us for like legit no reason at this point, for no reason, but. Uh, yeah. He'll be back. When we see you back in a couple months, Mark, good to see you back. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, we'll talk to you. In your next argument, you start with us and for no reason. <laughs> 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 All right, my turn. Oh yeah. Uh, Nikki animates 2787. Love your shirt. Rock on. I think in that one he's referring to your Pat's dogs chili dog shirt. I think so. I yeah. can't remember what shirt you were wearing. I don't think my. But I'm pretty sure it was yeah. about the Pat's dogs. Pat's, Pat's dogs, dogs look sweet. I want to yeah, go there one day. That'd absolutely. Cool. I'll do another one because pass this thing around. Frank Quinn, my good old boy. Frank Quinn said, "You guys drink too much." Well, yes, we do. Drink some Blackbridge having... Stout. Blackbridge Stouts, yeah. Cheers to you, Mr. Franklin. You're a good boy. You wanna do a couple? It's getting a little warm. So, pen, pen text? <laughs> I know I you held it for another time so I could pronounce this guy. Pen text. I like the part where the drum goes bop, 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 <laughs> ding, ding, bop, bop. Bop, 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 thud, 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 So tasty. Yeah, I like that part too. I don't know what part you're talking about, but I'm sure it was awesome. I'm sure it was greasy. I think that's every part of every probably. drum video. Pop, bop, do bop, da, bop, bop. That's probably like better than the way I did it. Mine Could is, be. I don't know. Do you want to do another one? Or? I'll do another I'll one, do another I guess. One. Oren Fisher, 8948. Oh, the best commenter on YouTube all yeah. day long. Yeah. Go to this dude's thing and like, just if you can go out if you can, like reverse engineer and go and like look at this dude's comments. Oren Fisher, he's an absolute beauty. Best commenter ever. He's an animal. The absolute animal. So he said spaghettifying. It's a thing. Cable ties will cure it for sure, even in your hair. Yep. I don't know if I've ever put a cable tie in my hair, but probably could use put other kind of ties in my hair. It does cure the spaghettifying a bit. Yeah, so so that's from our uh, video, our 10 tips to organizing your home studio, where we talked about how you put cable ties on your cables because they get all big mess of spaghetti. Spaghettifying. Spaghettifying, yeah. Then he goes on to say, oh yes, and I'm not worthy. Not even close. Let's go. Oh yeah, because he's at the end of that video. He's got a little cameo. He is, oh, yeah. He's got a little cameo yeah. at the end. There was a little cameo. It was sweet, yeah. yeah. yeah sweet. Bittersweet. <laughs> Not bitter, just sweet. Yeah, it was sweet. All right. Oh, another one from Oren Fisher. CB is the only valid form of communication. Good on you for the chronic channel 19 action. Incidentally, out here, it's channel 16. You're absolutely correct. CB is the most epic and most greasy form of communication. 
I will say around here, even channel 19 is not very popular. Yeah, you don't get too much chatter on Channel 16 is especially dead. Yeah. 17 is so. pretty bumping when we're on it, and that's yeah. it. Yeah, I would say it's definitely the best form of communication. And the second one is, the second best form of communication is 1,000 subscriber specials on YouTube videos. I'd say that's, that's, that's a great form of that's communication. That's pretty, pretty solid, yeah. 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 We're communicating right here. Okay, next one. Speed Devil 8763 Can you D a review on Cozy Powell? I think he means, can you do a review on Cozy Powell? Yes, we can. Uh, we have a few um, drum set builds. Now that we have the full Ludwig kit, pretty much every tom you'd ever need, every bass drum you'd ever need, we're gonna do a few different drum kit recreations. You know, So we have one in the works of Nico McBrain from Iron Maiden. We're gonna kind of recreate his drum setup, you know. So if you um, have any suggestions on some other people, any uh, drum sets you want us to try to recreate like their sizes of drums and their setup, absolutely. But yeah, Cozy Powell for me is one of my all time favorite drummers ever. The amount of records that that dude played on, he's one of the greats, one of the all time greats and his kit looks awesome. So absolutely we will be doing a review on Cozy Powell and a uh, drum kit recreation. And he had the greasy chrome ones too. Yeah, yeah, Chrome. I think he played Yamaha. He played Yamaha drums. But they were well. Chrome. But they were Chrome. That's all that matters. And the right era, because you know he, that dude played with like eighties Rainbow chrome. and White Snake. Yeah. Like, the the list goes on and on of the you know yeah. the intro to Stargazer is one of the most iconic drum things ever, right? So, one hundred percent, we will be doing a review on Cozy Powell. Yeah. Can I just say too that this guy's display picture is sweet. That's a yeah. sweet look at that. It is pretty sweet. Jake Janelle, five four. Oh yeah, my seven, boy Jake. Five. Yeah. Love how the opening riff was Zeppelin and then Jur blended it into your classic riff. Yes. So yeah, that so That's, we have uh, we have that little tune that we that uh, we did for all pretty much all of our kind of demos. It's just a quick little like minute long or 30 second long song, just two riffs. And that's just our demo that we use for avoiding um, copyrights. Well, for avoiding <laughs> copyrights, but just quick little demo songs so if we're reviewing like a, a microphone pack or whatever it is or a little, uh, whatever piece of gear we are reviewing, we do that quick little tune just to show off, instead of recording like a cover of a song, we just do our own little tune. And for the specific video where we tried to get a Led Zeppelin drum sound, we kind of reworked that riff. Cause usually we do that riff with kind of a high gain kind of thing. Yeah. We reworked that, did that with more of like a Zeppelin kind of crunchy Marshall-y kind of sound. And yeah, definitely lower Reworked the riff a little bit. Yeah, yeah, lower made gain. Made kind of Zeppelin-y style, but then like still that riff. Yeah, it was greasy. Yeah, I actually really enjoyed that too. I thought that was a pretty cool little thing yeah, too. Yeah, it was, it was I'm neat. I'm glad, thank you for noticing, Jake, and thank you for being a good supporter of the channel over the years. You always been a great dude for sure. Yeah, so the next one. Uh, I think this is the last one actually. Tony Jaguin. Jaguin? Jaguin? I don't know. Four nine, or four two nine two. I'm sensing some Dio reference on that guitar and drum pattern. Touche, or touch. <laughs> I think he's, uh, yeah. That's, that's the same riff, really. That's the same yeah. riff, but the actual regular version. Yes, there is some uh, some Dio reference. I mean, I think I kind of just wrote that, like, on the spot here. Like, we're like, what are we gonna record? Like, yeah. and I think I just kind of came up with, it's a very simple riff. It's nothing super crazy going on in the riff. It's just a simple riff to I'm, demonstrate. I'm pretty so. sure the drums were already done, too. And then it's like, oh, we should record a riff to that. And then you're like- Is that how it worked? I'm pretty sure it was, yeah. Well, Maybe, I don't remember. It's, 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 just kind of it's been a while and I might've had too many Blackbird stouts in between there. So that memory's gone. Yeah. But yes, no, that's yeah. uh, probably is some Dio reference because- um, That is the last one? No, there's one more. There's one more. Is there? Yeah, yeah. sure. Yeah, there's one more. I got one more here. Let me find it. You sure? This one comes from Mr. Kyle W. And he says, why is it called Blackbridge Sound when the bridge is white? Now that's a question we've gotten a few times actually, a few, few things here. And the reason for that is, we didn't really have a name in mind for the studio here. Our, our history is we're both from Hamilton, Ontario, and Jarrett moved out here to Waterford, Ontario a few years ago and built the studio in the basement. So we needed a kind of a cool name for the studio slash YouTube channel. And we're like, let's name it after something local to Waterford. The famous local train bridge in Waterford is called the Black Bridge. So we kind of just took that and Black Bridge sound named after the local, and it's kind of the local landmark in the city. 
in the town. Yeah, for sure. Well, that and the silos, but I mean, by the time this comes out, the silos are probably completely probably, gone. Yeah, unfortunately, yeah. So the Black Bridge is kind of a symbol of Waterford. And when we did the artwork, I mean, look at that, the signs behind the drums. If that would look stupid, white with black letters. Like, yeah, you have to be if black. They were white, it just wouldn't work. So I get why you think, you know, it's kind of weird, you know, the black bridge sound, and it's a white bridge. It's because it's not meant to be black. It's named after the black bridge. With that bridge, funny enough, that bridge is that bridge isn't even black itself. Like the actual black bridge. Yeah. I'll post a picture of it here. Here's a picture of the black bridge on the screen here. It's more like rust colored. Well, yeah. It, it might have been black at one point. Yeah, I, I believe it used to be a train bridge that they have since converted into just a pedestrian bridge. Yeah, it's, it's just a like, walking bridge. It's open parkland, that kind of whole area. But there used to be trains and stuff. And yeah, so they, it's a they took out all the tracks. It's a historical bridge here in the town of, of Waterford, Ontario. So we that's where we got the name for the studio. You didn't want to just call it like Jarrett Studio or something like that. Like how lame of a name is that, right? Yeah. So yes, that's why the bridge is white. It looks better on the sign. It does look better on the sign. So that's why. So that's that's the few little questions here. Again, we want to thank you so much, everyone who has supported, whether you've watched one video or shared one video or subscribed or left a comment. Thank you so much for uh, following the journey. And this is actually pretty fun. If you guys have a lot more questions and stuff, let us know and uh, we'd love to do it. I would do another one of these. It's kind of fun. Yeah. Sit here, pop a black bridge stout. Yeah. And, uh, you know, do some more questions. Got, got this one there, a little black bridge stout. So if you have any questions you'd like to know specifically, we'll do another one of these, why not? And uh, let us know in the comments. We've been Blackbridge Sound. You've been a great audience. Thank you so much. And uh, this has been the 1,000 subscriber special. J-Rock, anything else you got for the boys and girls out there? Or anything else to add or? Nope. No? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I would put a blooper reel at the end, but this whole video is pretty much a blooper reel. So. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, we're good. All right, bud. There you go. Time for some pizza. Gino's Pizza, Waterford, double cheese, double pepperoni with a side of wings, the hottest wings they got, which aren't that hot. That's where we're going to stick in these boilers. Yeah.